So fun to drive is one thing, but on the other hand side, we also said this car has an environmental, of course, responsibility. So how can we get energy back? So in order to get the kinetic energy back into the system, we have a recuperation system, of course, installed in that car. Uh, we didn't want to waste the energy, but indicate all the time to the customer, not only, this is a nice illustration, by the way, uh, where you see how the energy flow from the battery to the battery goes. And what we have established inside the vehicle is we have actually two driving modes, a driving mode D and a driving mode L, and we have an additional steering wheel pedal. This leads to a total of four different recuperation stages, which I will briefly illustrate to you. The first, by the way, the weakest one in D, has a deceleration of about 0.1 G, which is about 10% of a, of a full brake, uh, yeah, full, full breakage. And the L mode, which is on the other end side, has the highest. And here we have something that we call one pedal drive. You can actually drive the vehicle without braking by just taking off your foot from the gas pedal, electric pedal, <laughs> not gas anymore. Uh, you, by taking it back, you will have no creep and the vehicle actually will go down to zero. So in addition to the L mode, we have, if you pull in addition to the steering wheel pedal on the side, here it's a short, brief illustration of how, how that works. You need to have it pulled though, so just don't tip it, but keep it pulled as long as you want the deceleration to work. You will get an additional deceleration of, which ends up in L plus pulling in 0.3 G, so roughly 30% of the full breakage. So in total, when you use the in-between stages, just low, which is the one pedal drive, or the drive mode plus the pedal, we have a total of four different recuperation stages. So the customer can actually choose whatever he wants. Me, for example, I usually drive in L mode completely, and then I hardly use the brake. I just use the, uh, the little pedal to, to brake the car. You can also try this, of course, easily. Um, just a short trick on energy optimization. If you really want to optimize energy during highway driving, go into L mode. And there is in the, uh, and Andreas will show you in a second the screen, there's an indication of how much uh, power you will take out of the car. So go into D and try to take as little power out of the car as possible. And that, that allows you to optimize driving. So we also, so for people that are really interested in energy saving, we have a lot of information also available in the vehicle so that you can optimize your driving.